Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about the, um, the shapes panel and the different options in the shapes panel, such as um, merge, intersection, uh, union, stuff like that. So, uh, the shapes panel is here on the left side, and the shapes panel is most useful whenever you want to make a link that has a certain shape, okay? So, let's say um, I want to draw a link that has uh, that's in the shape of a uh, triangle, okay? So, I'm going to click Draw Triangle left click anywhere on my screen and then just draw my triangle whenever I am satisfied with it just like that okay and let's say I want to make uh, this triangle an actual link uh, with actual joints very simple I'm going to click draw link here on the right and then I'm going to draw my link anywhere inside the triangle just like that let go whenever I'm satisfied and then I'm going to hit multi select and multi-select is basically a tool that lets you select uh, multiple things at the same time. Very useful. And then I'm going to hit uh, merge here. And when I hit merge, it basically merges the tool uh, and merges the two things. And now I have a triangle uh, with uh, two joints. So essentially, I have a triangle-shaped link. Now, uh, let's say I want to make a four-bar mechanism where this triangle uh, was the coupler. Okay, no problem. So actually, I'm going to move this triangle over here. So to move it, I'm going to hit mech select uh, on the right here, and I'm going to hit the triangle. Now when I hit mech select, I can move anything I want without affecting its geometry, which is uh, very useful. It's particularly useful whenever um, I need to assemble things uh, that with links that already have uh, specified link lengths, and I don't want to affect the link lengths. Okay, so the mech select tool is very, very useful in that regard. So I'm satisfied with where this triangle is. I'm going to uh, let go. And I'm going to hit draw link. Start my link over here. Okay. I'm going to hit draw link here again. Just draw my link over here, L3. Perfect. Now I'm going to draw my ground link again. To draw my ground link, I basically left click on this bottom joint here of L2, hit ground, and I right click on this joint here and I also hit ground just like that. Okay, so now I have my um, my four bar mechanism and I'm going to hit this joint here and add rotary actuator just like that. Yeah. Now as you can see um, we have a coupler where the shape of the coupler is um, a triangle uh, which is pretty cool. Okay. And it doesn't have to be a triangle, it can be any shape that you want, okay? So I'm going to delete this and show you some other cool stuff that you can do. Yeah, so let's say you want to, um, let's see, I, I want to draw a rectangle. I'm going to draw an arbitrary rectangle. Now I'm going to draw an arbitrary uh, circle. Okay, so let's say I wanted to combine uh, this circle and this rectangle into one shape, one singular shape. Well, very easy. I'm going to hit mech select again. I'm going to select both of these things. And then I'm going to hit union. And when I hit union, you can see that um, this becomes one shape, okay? Now, uh, when I hit, now notice when I hit uh, multi select, um, I can basically uh, shrink the shape. I can uh, enlarge it. Um, I can rotate it, stuff like that, okay? So when I multi, when I multi select something, I can change its uh, geometry, okay? So I'm going to delete it, and let's say I want to do some other things. Let's say uh, let's, I'm going to draw a circle, and then I'm going to draw a smaller circle inside of it, like this. So let's say um, I wanted to uh, draw like a circular cutout inside of the bigger circle. Well, it's very easy. Again, I'm going to mech select, sorry, uh, multi-select the entire thing. And I'm going to hit uh, difference. Now, when I hit difference, notice that a circular shape hole appears in S1. Basically, it forms a difference between the two shapes that you drew. Okay. Finally, um, let's talk about intersection. So, again, I'm going to draw two shapes again. And let's say I want just the intersection between these two shapes. Okay. Again, multi select. And I hit intersection here on the bottom left. And it gives me the intersection between the two shapes. Okay, very straightforward. Okay, um, so let's say you uh, you didn't want to um, 
draw a circle, you, you didn't want to draw any of these regular shapes, right? Let's say you want to draw your own arbitrary shape. Again, that's very easy. So you notice that these top options here, right? You can draw an arbitrary shape. So left click. So when I left click, I can just start drawing whatever I want. So let's say I want to draw some, some shape that looks like this. S1, right? And call that S1, right? Very easy. Delete that. Uh, let's say you want to draw an arbitrary polygon, right? So basically um, a shape with um, only straight uh, line edges, right? Uh, no curved lines. So I'm going to start drawing my polygon. Like this. And let's say I am satisfied with that, okay? Okay, um, so I'm basically going to end the video here. And in the next video, we're going to be talking about more advanced um, mechanism simulations, okay?